And here we have the super sought after hyper rare secret rare rainbow Charizard from Burning Shadows from 2017. So pretty recent set still, I'm not sure if it's still being printed, but you can still buy it for regular prices. And uh, I'm sure you can kind of see where this is going. We are going to be doing some Burning Shadows pack openings. Uh, see if we can pull another one. I believe this should be 12 packs all together. Uh, but we do have a little something special at the end. Uh, a couple of people mentioned like, oh, it's been a while since we've seen any Magic the Gathering content. And while this is a very small opening, we're actually opening one of these Ikoria Collector Booster Boxes and Ancillary Packs. Basically, you get one of these if you picked up the Collector Booster. We got three, so we got three of them. We're just going to open one of them. Three of the cards are predetermined, and then the fourth card is like a foil of one of those three. So, we'll do that at the end. But yeah, 12 packs of Burning Shadows. Looking for a, another Rainbow Charizard. Let me pull two on the channel. But as per usual, we're going to start with a couple pickups that we've been doing. We've been working on those Primes. I feel like Primes is not super sought after, sought after at the moment, uh, but it is a pretty cool era. And I figure let's finish our collection now, at least, you know, PSA 8 and 9 collection. And we did some pickups there. there. So this first one is Meganum. This one only is an excellent to mint 6, so not that 8 or 9 that we're really looking for. But this is also not a card. This is a promo. So I'm fine with having the promo just be a PSA 6. And then we'll focus on all the stuff you had to pull from packs for that 8 slash 9 category. <clears throat> Next, actually one thing I want to, I only noticed this very recently. Um, is that all the primes kind of have like this sparkle. Usually it's around the eye. Uh, kind of like this glint kind of effect. Um, which is kind of interesting. Again, the primes are interesting. Very different art. It's very zoomed in. Uh, kind of like... It reminds me of Pokemon Snap, and that's one of the things I like about these, this kind of like uh, wave of cards. So here we have Machamp from Triumphant, Mint 9. It's got that glint in his eye. And Pharos from Harkle Soul Silver Base. And this time it's on the, I don't know what that is on top of his head. But in Pharos, Mint 9, very nice. Next we're moving to Kingdra. This one is only a near mint to mint 8, but I'm going to leave like our collection is 8 to 9. We don't have any 10s yet. The 10s are still fetching a pretty high premium price, so that will be very much like an opportunity like if it ever comes up. Next we got Ursaring mint, near mint to mint 8, oh, which I actually have two of. This one, the glint is in the claw. And then the last one is going to be Electrode mint 9, which we actually have two of. And this one I actually picked up from TCA. Um, his price is usually a little bit higher. You can find it cheaper. Uh, he does send it in these really nice um, sleeves, though. Very tight sleeves for the PSA slab. So that's going to be our mail day. We got the Ikoria box, or box top, not box topper, but uh, pack at the end of the video. Let's open these Burning Shadows. Looking for a, another Rainbow Zard. All right, so we are set. Those blisters are not the easiest thing to open. I thought, like, all right, I wonder if it's easier to do it with just scissors. So I slipped across the top and I did cut into the pack. Luckily, none of the card hit any of the cards. So we'll obviously start with this pack first. Do have a white coat card. And all right, pack number one, looking for some Charizards. Uh, if this is its pretty good edge wear, which is very unfortunate to see, you know, especially pack fresh. And it's not from the scissors because it's even along the side. Um, hopefully this isn't from that print run where the cards were very damaged. In fact, I wonder if there's anything that can be done as far as like contacting the Pokemon company. Like, look, these packs are terrible quality. I'm not sure. I'll maybe something to look into for our first pack we have. Oh! We did get a rainbow rare off the very first pack and it's a Tapu Fini. Uh, but yeah, the edge wear is super frustrating. Uh, this is pack fresh um, and it's not from the scissors that I almost did some accidental damage because it is all along the side as well. But uh, hey, we got a Tapu Fini rainbow. We've been doing pretty good about getting hyper rare pulls with Burning Shadows, but it's not, just need to find that right one. We're getting close. 
Tapu Fini Rainbow Rare. All right, very awesome starts. We'll put this over here and get into our next pack. All right, hope everyone's doing well, stable to, you know, staying safe, staying healthy, and once again, you know, not, not as bad, but, uh, you know, I don't think even if we were to pull something good, if the damage is like that out of the pack, you know, definitely will be tough to get a PSA 10. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oddish, Alolan Rattata. Oh my gosh, so many hits. We got a Ho-Oh GX. A little beat up again. Yeah, I, I usually don't do too many blister openings like this, but uh, so far this one's going very well. These came from a, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, but uh, when we opened those Rebel Clash BNB boxes, where GameStop had a special deal where you spend 100 and you get 30% off. And this was simply how I got to 100, primarily picking up those Hidden Fates tins. And then we picked up some Burning Shadows packs, as well as those BNBs. All right, let's see, Meryl, Charmander, a Wimpod, and then just a Malamar. That was our first pack without a hit. So, so far, doing very well. All right, so let's see. As always, guys, if you do enjoy the video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you are not subscribed already, definitely encourage you to sub and hit that bell for notifications so you get notified whenever, every single time we upload a new video. All right, let's see. Mudbray, a Lolan Vulpix, and then a Sculipede. Now, out of 12 packs, like, if this is all of our hits, you know, that wouldn't be the biggest shock in the world. And uh, since we start off so strong, um, yeah, hopefully at this point I'm up for any kind of hit. Rotom deck, Super Scoop Up. We'll put those off to the side. Don't see it used too often, but uh, you never know when you might need those. We got a Zygarde. Burning Shadows, uh, kind of like a set that has aged very well, which is probably why this thing kind of definitely got some kind of reprint wave with uh, significant quality issues, but uh, still a very good set altogether. Uh, probably, you know, 99% of it is because of the, the, the Charizard. And it's been like a few days since we opened Hidden Fates. Don't worry guys, we're doing more of those in the near future. As uh, because we just got these boxes from, these packs from GameStop. And again, the main purpose of that purchase was for more tins. We're gonna have a good amount of Guzmas. Always a useful card. Super Scoop Up Reverse, not bad. And then Alolan Eradicate. So things are getting, things cooled off signific significantly off of that super strong start. Come on, hoping for one more hit. Olana, 50 damage for our water Pokemon. Inke, Dewpiter, a Tangela, Noibat is our reverse, and then Alolan Ninetales. In case you guys didn't know, we did start a Patreon page. Oh my gosh, look at this. Very significant edge wear on top of the last, on top of the, the rare slots. Very frustrating. But uh, we did start a Patreon page. I, if you do want to support the channel in addition to just subscribing, I encourage you to check it out. So we do have a couple different tiers, including one where you can purchase product from me and we'll open it for you on the channel. And basically, we'll it'll, the cost that you'll pay is exactly what I pay for it. And the shipping will come out of the Patreon fee as well. And shout out to all of our Patreons. Patrons. I always confuse me. It's called Patreon, but they're called Patrons. But thank huge thank you to you all. All right, here we go. Mudbray. Another Alolan Vulpix. And then Electivire. Okay, only two more packs. We started off so strong. Somehow all the hits came up to the top of the stack. Two more tries. And uh, yeah, we did get a rainbow. 
of questionable card quality. And once again, some. This one is minor, but uh, you know, definitely precludes the possibility of a ten. And yeah, always a very frustrating thing where it's like, you know, even when you have such great, you know, luck to for the quality to be that poor out of the pack. Very frustrating. Olivia, and we did get another hit, Alolan Muck. And yeah, you can see that edgeware again. Okay, three hits out of out of 12 packs, and one of them being a rainbow is a good opening in my book. Uh, you can see this thing's pretty off center as well. You can see the edge over here versus it's barely visible on those other uh, edges. Actually, let's just take a look at the. Ah, uh, this one's not perfect great either. You can see that this border is significantly bigger than this side. So definitely quality issues for these Burning Shadows reprints. Although I do think when we did pull the Charizard and like that ETB was really bad. I think that one started off as a seven coming out of the pack. But our last pack, last try to find it, even though I'm really happy with the hits we already have. We have a Simapore reverse and a Turtonator. So very strong opening and as promised, let's open up one of these Ikoria Ancillary Packs. Again, three of the cards are predetermined. I think it's two of the Cocoons, uh, one of the Dirge Bat, which is pretty cool looking, and then one of the, like, the Crystalline something. It's like the uh, robotic Godzilla. And then you get one more card, which is going to be a foil of one of those three. As long as we don't, I, the, the card I don't want for the foil is the Cocoon. Come on, all right, there we go. And these are Japanese, so basically these were, these arts were not in the English, I believe, so that's why they give away these if you bought the collector's boosters. All right, so the cocoon, and there'll be two of these. And then we have the crystalline something, but they, yeah, the robotic Godzilla. Then we'll have the moth. Oh, all right, I stand corrected. All right, so we didn't get the moth, and the one that really was hoping not to pull Oh, sorry, you get one of the two, and then you get a foil of one of the three cards, and yeah, that was actually pretty disappointing. Let's open one more. You know, I don't think, I think the collector's booster is the thing that I definitely want to keep sealed, and I don't have too big a reservations of opening these guys. Especially since it wasn't really part of product, it was just something that came with it. It's not like a box topper, so to speak. Having a little bit of trouble opening this pack. There we go. All right, so let's get at least one of the dirge bats. All right, so we're gonna have two of these again. Yeah, there we go. Now I just don't want another cocoon foil. Then we can keep that last one sealed. But uh, yeah, if, um, I don't know if you went back. If you told someone in the Magic the Gathering hobby, you know, you showed these um, to them like two years ago, like, oh my god, these aren't even magic cards. And, ugh, you gotta be kidding me. Another foil cocoon. Alright, let's try it one more time. <laughs> yeah, I just played just to open one of them. Come on. I'd be very disappointed if we got three cocoons for the foil slots. Alright, let's see, which one do we like better as far as the third card? Um, I think I like the robot better. Yeah, there we go. Okay, come on, last try. Oh no. Wait, no, I think it's the moth. Yes, it is the moth. Boom, okay. At least we got one of them. It would have been awesome to get one of each, but I'm pretty happy with this. There's a bit of a nick there, but that's okay. Don't think these are going to get graded. And uh, yeah, so still a fan of the MTG game, but we don't play it, so I don't do too many openings. And uh, yeah, a lot of stuff we did today. And hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.